Smart toys are popular holiday gifts, but consumer watchdogs warn of the risks to children's privacy. Wired's new article is called Don't Get Your Kid an Internet Connected <laughs> Toy. In that article, one privacy group says companies selling internet connected toys are, quote, profiting by collecting and monetizing a lot of sensitive information from your kids. The FBI issued a safety alert in July about how smart toys can present privacy concerns for children. CBS News contributor Nicholas Thompson is editor in chief of Wired. Nick, good morning. Good morning. Your website calls internet connected toys hacker heaven and you're starting to get freaked out about privacy, you say? Yeah, so there's a real discrepancy between the privacy protections built into most internet connected toys and the privacy protections that you want for your children. Yeah. And that's because these toys aren't sort of set up in general with the best standards. It's hard to update them, to patch things. They're easily packed, they're hacked. They're starting to have microphones and cameras, which are a nightmare, and kids don't have defenses against privacy invasions because they haven't learned these things. So we're saying you got to be wary. I was stunned to see the FBI sent out a warning about this. How is this information being used? I know it's an intense warning. It came out in July and it's, you know, a 17 point warning saying, hey, we've had a bunch of problems. We've had Internet connected toys that store information on the clouds like your child's voice that can then be hacked. We have lots of these toys that have been, you know, sort of appropriated for botnets. So be wary. That was an, an intense statement by them. Mm -hmm. Can we just switch to Apple about them admitting that they had <laughs> misled us this about the matter? <laughs> uh, it, is, it is. I mean, in a way, I said earlier that it's genius, but it's annoying. What do you say about this? Right. Thing? Okay. So what, what we learned yesterday is that the sort of the conspiracy theories about Apple are true. Yeah. That as your battery gets older, as your phone gets older, they deliberately degrade the processing speed. So lots of people on the internet said, oh my God, they're doing that because they want you to upgrade their phone. They make your phones worse. And Apple came back with a totally legitimate statement saying, no, they're lithium ion batteries. Over time, they degrade. If your battery has degraded, we have to slow down the processing speed so that your processing doesn't spike and shut down your phone. They're so saying, how easy is it to replace a battery? Right. So this is the, this is the counter, right? Okay, Apple, I, I believe your statement, yeah, yeah. but like... If you're going to degrade the performance of the phone, shouldn't it be easy to swap out the battery. No. It's not. And the reason it's not, particularly on iPhones, is because they're beautiful. They don't have a screw in the back. You can't just like take a Phillips head screwdriver and put a new battery and the battery is glued inside. Mm -hmm. They do that for design reasons. They do it for waterproofing reasons. But you would think that with this, they would make it easier to swap your batteries. And they should. Mm -hmm. If you're going to slow down a phone because you have an old battery in it, no. let's And why are they battery. telling us about it now? Well, they're telling us about it because they got busted on Reddit, right? Because, oh. like, <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering, why are they telling us? They should have just admitted it up front, but they got busted on Reddit. Okay. Well, be because, I mean, there are all these forums that have been <laughs> testing it, and they've kind of proved it. And then so Apple said, yes, okay. but we do it for you. Mm -hmm. and, and again, Apple's statement, it's, it's legitimate. They're not making it up, right? They are doing it to prevent spikes so your phone doesn't shut down. Like, that is a perfectly good reason. It yeah. does have perhaps the benefit to Apple that it makes you want to mm -hmm. upgrade your phone. Nick, quickly, if you want to buy an Internet-connected toy for your kid this year, what do you do to make sure it's safe? You should read the privacy settings. You should make sure it's from a responsible manufacturer. And there is a list of uh, FTC-approved companies that will certify toys saying that they follow best practices. Once you set it up, you should make sure to update it, and you should be wary about things with cameras and microphones. Oh, my God. I barely right. have enough time to wrap the present. Yeah, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so the FTC <laughs> website. Yeah. Bang. We're and read the privacy, Nora. Don't buy anything we can, with a camera We'll post microphone. something on our website about it. We'll, we'll, post, we'll put something on Twitter right now with yeah. the FTC link. Okay, yeah. thank you, Nick. Thank really you, appreciate yeah. it. <laughs>